Hey guys, how's it going? It's um, ooh, it's Tuesday. Sorry, it's late, and uh, I don't know if you can tell by the uh, lighting here. I think I might not have turned down my iPod, so I'm gonna get some angry emails from you guys. Um, please bear with me. It's been a long day. However, my eyebrows are done and ready for my trip. These are things that we oh, need to take care of, and um, we're all ready. I, uh, tomorrow, okay, so, guys, yesterday was the most wacky day I've experienced in a while. Hold on, this is not at the right, is that better? How's it going? Everybody? Oh, I'm so excited, I have so much to tell you guys, I don't even know where to start. There's just stuff all over the place, so where am I going to start? Okay, so let's start with yesterday. Yesterday, I had to go up to Detroit, it was like a one day trip, right? Amy, here's to you. This is pure liquid gasoline. Um, as you guys know, my friend Amy, who I love and adore and respect and care about, and um, I want to marry in that friendship kind of non-inappropriate way, uh, really wants me to stop drinking soda. <laughs> Here's to you, sweetie. We'll talk about it later, okay? That's it. Just kidding. I love you. Um, I had to be in Detroit yesterday, right? So I left in the morning and then I was home, I get home at like 10 o'clock at night. It was kind of an annoying day, meaning just travel. Let me tell you something. I had three of the most psychotic limo cab driver experiences ever. Literally, I'm like, is someone following me around? Am I being punked? So the first one, uh, what was it? I've been trying to remember. Oh, so the first guy, you know, Detroit Airport's kind of weird, the way that they do cabs and limos. Um, and, you know, some of you guys write to me and you're like, wow, that's really cool, you get to take a limo. Seriously? <laughs> Once you've been in like 500 of them, it's not a big deal. They all look the same and it's just a ride. And in most cities, I mean seriously, like you should check this out when you're going traveling. Um, say you're taking a vacation and you need to get to the airport and you don't want to leave your car there for however many days, because at O'Hare it's like 30 bucks a day, 35 sometimes. Um, it's cheaper, it's cheaper to take a limo. And that happened to me on the way back. I took a cab and he was like $5 more expensive than the limo. I'm like, what's up with that? And they're like, I got you now. So, the first person I took a um, I took a limo from because he was cheaper from the airport to my first meeting, right? And this guy starts just chatty Kathy with me, and he's got some like accent I don't know. And you know, I try to be like, am I talking to someone? But he keeps talking. It's like, oh, I really like you. Are you Italian? I'm like, no, actually, my background is Slovak. And he's like, oh, let me tell you, did you know when the Czechoslovakia broke up between here and the, and he's giving me like a history lesson. In Slovakia. He's like, what, you must be a lawyer, huh? I'm like, what is it about me that makes you think I'm a lawyer? And he's like, what do you do? And I'm like, please stop talking to me. But I'm very nice, right? So he keeps going on and on and on about, you know, how Czechoslovakia broke up. And then he's like, I must tell you, you have a tremendous command of the English language. And I'm like, maybe that's because I'm from America. So he's going on and on and on, asking me, oh, I love this song making me think some certain kind of thoughts that I'm not going to share with you at this time. Wishing this was a beer. <laughs> um, just saying. So he was just kind of chat, chat, chat. Oh, and then <laughs> I took a picture of this. So you guys, if you want to see the pictures of the weird crap I deal with, go to my posturous feed and sign up. It's a bunch of good times. So then he's like, oh, you thirsty back there? I've got some water for you in the back seat. I'm not lying to you. It was a, um, it was a bottled water that was open. So an open bottle of water, warm. I didn't touch it, but I'm just looking at it going, you're offering me a bottled water that's already open and half full. Like I'm gonna share it with whoever happened to be in here before. And then he's like, oh, perhaps you need some sugar. If you see, there's some caramels back there for you. I'm like, am I in the like, who is this? What's that Hansel and Gretel story? I feel like I've stepped into, you know, one of those, that witch's cabin where she's gonna eat me. I was waiting for the doors to just lock and have them go, ha, 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 now you're my little treat, little one. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so he drops me off, go to my appointment, right? Then I had to leave from the next appointment to go to my next one, right? And uh, I get in that, so I was at a restaurant and I asked them to call a cab. So I go out front and Albert Einstein is in my car. His hair is like this big, right? And um, I get in the car and first I came out and I'm like, do you mind if I run to the restroom? And he's like, I got stuff to do! I'm like, 
Okay, well, I'll take the next cab. Not that I did that. So I come back out and I sit down and he's like, uh, who are you meeting with here? And okay, I was in Detroit. I'm not gonna say who I was meeting with because I don't talk about my business stuff here, but you know, I'll try to talk in general terms here. He's like, oh, are you meeting with, and I said, well, I'm just actually meeting with um, an agency. He's like, oh, I bet you're not meeting with Ford, are you? He's like, let me tell you, I used to be the CEO. You see that building over there? I was the CEO of the fiber optic divisions of Ford and they shut me down. And he's like, I'm in a class action lawsuit. And this is how loud he's, he's like screaming. Mind you, at the same time he's telling me this and pointing to Ford, and saying how he's in this and there's this big huge conspiracy that Ford has against him and he's in a class action lawsuit with them and that's why he's not allowed to work in the United States he's, he has to only drive a cab because although he's this brilliant mind that set up all of Europe on fiber optics he's in a lawsuit with Ford over here and he's not allowed to work because that's what the big companies like Ford do right and I'm in the back seat like <laughs> thinking that's what he's doing. And at this time, that's when I started tweeting because I'm looking for his cab identification. There's no number, there's no like sheet that has his name or his registration. All there was in the rear view mirror was like, it looked like it had been painted on with um, fingernail polish, the number 27. And I'm literally like, holy hell. I'm literally thinking, this guy is deranged. He's probably wanted by the law and he's gonna drive me off the road and I'm never gonna see my family. <laughs> so I took a picture of him because I'm like, if I die, I want people to know who it was that kidnapped me. And he's deranged. He's going on about Obama and the government conspiracies against fiber optic and how he'd laid fiber optic lines all over the country. And I'm like, <laughs> mind you, he's also going like a thousand miles an hour. So I'm texting all my friends. I'm like, here's the car that I'm in. Here's where I'm going. If I don't ever show up, please call the police or the FBI. And um, so that guy was kind of a wacko, right? So then I, sh I show up at my last appointment. I get in the last cab to go back to the airport. And um, this is just kind of a small thing. But I'm like, I get in the car and I'm an hour away from my flight. And you guys, I'm an early person. I gotta get to the airport early. If I have a 7.30 flight, I need to be there at six. I don't care if I don't have stuff to check. I need time. I don't like to sweat. I don't like to run. My heels are this high. I have issues, okay? So it's like 6.30 and I have a 7.30 flight. I don't do this. No, it's probably like six. So I get in the car and I'm like, just making sure, can I pay you with a credit card? And he turns away, he's like, oh, that's not good for me. I'm like, well, you know what's not good for me is not showing up to the airport for my flight. He's like, can I take you to a gas station? I'm like, can you take me to the airport? I, why can't you take, and I go, you're telling me that you can take a credit card. You just don't want to take a credit card. I'm telling you I'm angry and I'm about to hurt somebody. If I have another crazy cab driver experience, he's like, I'm going to take you to the Chase building. Is that okay? I'm like, seriously? So that was my day yesterday. And then, um, actually I met somebody fun on the plane. So we had a great time chatting back and forth, probably annoying everybody in front of us. We had a great time for the first time ever. I'm not gonna lie. I only had half of it for the first time ever. I've never actually, well, that's a lie. Cause I had one with my husband um, when we went to Punta Cana, but I've never had a drink on a plane. And he bought me a drink. And so I said, you're the first time I'm ever having a drink on a plane. Again, I just remembered right now in front of you that I had, I love this song, um, that I had a drink with my husband at the time. You see how I get indigestion when I say that word? I can't talk to you. Uh, and, uh, so, um, that was my crazy day yesterday. I didn't get home until like 9.30 or 10. I tried to get to sleep. Day falls to the wall all over the place. Appointments, meetings, I haven't even packed. I have to pack tonight. I have to finish up some work. I have to fly to New York in the morning. Um, I told you guys, the, the chick that watches, she's a good friend of mine, but she kind of stays over at my house when I'm gone for long periods of time. Brings in my mail, puts out my trash, trashes my place, has a party, you know, stuff like that. She's like, why don't I just move into your house? I'm like, not when I'm there. I need my space. Anyway, oh, I'm running out of time. But I have to go to New York tomorrow. New York to Milwaukee tomorrow night. Milwaukee, I'm there through Saturday. And then I'm home Saturday night in downtown Chicago for an event Sunday night and Monday. And then back in Detroit Tuesday and Wednesday. But there's some stuff exciting in between this. So I'm going to have to go into vlog number two. Have I bored you so far? I know you had. And you're like, vlog number two? I shut you off at two minutes, Kelly.